I've seen this done a few times before. I think I want to try it myself. Basically, we're doing chimps mode with Adora. And the goal is to finish, well, simply, with no towers. So we're going to hop into firing range, hopefully black water it. And here's how we're going to execute. So this actually is not a good map for it, I just realized. Uh, my plan was to get perma spike. But as you see, there are two lanes. Can Adora sacrifice herself? No, she can't. So what you gotta do is freeze the water. You can't actually drop Adora immediately. You gotta put ice like down here, and then Adora over there. So with Adora, we can basically put any town we want. We just gotta make sure to sacrifice it early, so wait for it. I'm going to get a dart over here to snipe this guy. So it's basically normal chimps mode, um, but the last round, you gotta find a way to beat the bad while trying to sell your towers in between. And that's where Perma Spike is pretty good at. I'm pretty sure that's the only way, or the only way I've seen people do it to finish with zero towers. I'm pretty sure there's another way, like if you use an ability and then sacrifice. But the easy way out is Perma Spike because Perma Spike is OP. So we're gonna do that. Just on a really awkward map. Maybe I'll put the Perma Spike in the middle instead of dealing with, you know, each side. I'm also winging the Black Border strategy. I wanna point that out. Let me go for Air Burst next. Let's do it, Alchemist next. 3 zero, 0 With that said, I actually have to find a mid-game option that can that can work. Maybe biggest one? I've never tried biggest one since the uh, the nerf to it. This would not be a bad map for it. Not at all. I was gonna say sub commander, but we need this this water. For Adora, at least. This is the weirdest strategy of all time. I gotta say. So, let's upgrade to the Bloom Buster. I'm hoping Air Burst plus Alchemist can beat 40. And Bloom Buster. Get ready. We're gonna do hard mode too. Beat it on fast forward. Piece of cake. So next up, rush biggest one or big one, big one. So 8600, got him. So before I go for the 30k, uh, I need Adora. I'm looking to freeze the ice or freeze the uh, freeze the pond now, just so we can have some hero getting levels. It would help. Biggest one so balanced. Not gonna lie. I mean, I think it's balanced now after all the nerfs. It doesn't do a crazy damage to Moabs, like it used to, and Ceramics. Because before I made Solver useless, for the most part, and a bunch of other towers, but now it's kind of like, yeah, it's okay. It excels obviously in maps that have a nice clump of balloons, like here. It excels in multi-path maps, you know, like Mighty Puddles. I think it's got its niche. It's in a good spot. Good job with the balance, NK. So, uh, let's get the sub ready, or the ice. What we want is a 1, 2, 3, uh, range, range. I'm not sure it matters that much though. But yeah, Adora will be here. In case you don't know, if you use the Adora Sacrifice on the ice, the ice goes away. And that's how we're going to end with zero towers. So before that, uh, we gotta sacrifice everything on the last round. Sacrificing the ice will be the last thing we do. So yes, we don't need a Chinook for this challenge. That's what Adora helps out with. Alright, we're kind of struggling now, I notice. Slowly but surely, we're gonna start microwing the mortar. This round requires a little bit of micro to succeed, good. Uh, this round might require some micro too, but... If I keep it locked in place here... Oh, no, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't. Pinks, last bend. Gotta play this out slowly. I'm gonna focus on one side at a time, so right side, good. And then left side. Yeah, much better, much better results. And last wave, a little bit worse than the first two. No problemo if you do one at a time. Not too shabby. Uh, this round. Oh boy. I'm gonna keep it in the middle. That gets the biggest blast radius. Might drop a door or two. Maybe I'm strong. If I gotta restart here, I'm gonna be sad. Oh god, I don't think I have enough fortified pawn power for this. Am I gonna need a restart? Shit. Come on, pop, pop, black border is in danger. Holy crap, that ice tower. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, holy shit. That ice comes in clutch. Black border is saved. Worst strategy of all time. We're still alive. You know, if we didn't get Arctic Wind, we would have bought this by now. I kind of made it unnecessarily hard going for this first. Oh well. We'll get it soon. $30,000. Uh, I gotta beat one BFE. Which one first? This one? This one. Right side, right side. This one is the one we gotta kill first. 
Come on, beat this round, and then we got biggest one. Slow down. 30.2. Oh, we gotta beat one more. There we go. Now we can relax, for sure. Shall we start the perma spike setup? I think so. So, uh, if we want overclock to be longer uptime with perma spike, we have to do this. This fits, right? Ah, shit. Okay. I almost thought I messed up with the placement, but luckily, it fits right in between both discounts. So this will put the perma spike below 40,000, giving it longer uptime on the overclock. You know, I should probably start sacrificing in advance, like this dart monkey. It's kind of useless. This sub too. Like, maybe even remove one discount, yeah. Once I get the upgrades, I can probably remove one of these. Just ahead of time, just so I don't have to do everything on the last round. Because I know the ability on the uh, a sacrifice is short, but I'd rather not have to sell sacrifice 10 things on the last round. You feel? I also gotta make sure I don't pop the bat instantly with a perma spike. The bat is huge. It actually might touch the perma spike pile. Uh, I actually didn't take that into account, did I? No, I didn't. You ever think it's worth getting a Shinnok just to move it like... I know the bat comes on the left side, so it must exit on the right side. I'm wondering, if I should not get to the bottom right for the last round, is that a good idea? I mean, it's probably worth trying, right? Let's make sure we beat a Zoom G here, good. Into free play. Still 10k short of, uh, Perma Spike. Might need to take this a little slow. In the meantime, I'll just sacrifice some things, like the dart. See ya. First sacrifice. Uh, almost to uh, Perma Spike. Let me just use Ball Light. Mold damage is what we need. 32-4, come on. Got it. Make sure we don't die here. Gotta focus the Serams. Nice. So, we get a 0-2-5. Alk buff. And call it a day. Alright, I need Engineer Overclock and then a main Moab. I need to stall some rounds. You know, I think I'm gonna sacrifice the sub now. Let me just get some extra XP on Adora. Nice, level up. Thank you, thank you. Let's take it slow here, because, yeah, ZoomD is going to eat up that perma spike pile. Let's keep the big one attacking right in the middle here. Make sure it doesn't expire, good. Because, yeah, until I get May Moab, uh, this spike is not going to be super strong. We're not going to have any stalling in the, in the middle of the round. So we need to keep this biggest one active and moving. Can I sacrifice discount villagers now? No. I want to get one more tower under discount, and that would be the Chinook. Or May Moab, May Moab, May Moab. Uh, where can I place it though? Okay, here is good. It'll get both entrances without, you know, having the post block the the line of sight. So, I'm gonna drop it over here. This will be a 402 on last eventually. And then, yes, also a heli. I'm thinking I want a Chinook just to move this, give it more time for around 100. We wanna play it safe. I'm sure I want a Chinook and not a Sabo or something. Nah, I don't need a Sabo. May mob time. Let's get that 402 and start stalling for Perma Spike. Epic combo. Okay, so I think we've done enough with discounts. See ya. How many times do we have to actually sacrifice though? Let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 10 towers right now. Okay, that's quite a bit. Quite a lot of abilities we gotta use on round 100. Hopefully we get the ability 10 times. Or maybe we'll get ready to sell someone 99 if we don't need any. So now that I got Chinook, uh, what do I do? I have three rounds of income that I can still make. Do I just keep it? I mean, if we're if you just really want to secure Black Order, we probably should just spend on something, like a Sabo. Play just a little bit, a little bit more safe. But again, the more towers, the more abilities I gotta use on the last round. So maybe I just want to upgrade an existing tower. Let's see. Remove the middle. Eh, that I won't do. I'm gonna set up around 100 because I need to out buff, uh, what do you call it, perma spike. So this will also help out, so I don't have to move both these guys, you know. Move this guy over here. And finally, 97 is about over with. That stall was forever. We got a max spike pot, basically. That was a nice 3-4 minutes of stalling at 97. If we die, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be a little shocked. Keep using overclock. And Adora. And we should retain enough spikes. Oh god. Ball light, ball light. In the middle. 
Holy crap, we used the entire spike pile. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's bad. Now, uh, let's try to stall 99. I didn't realize it was that close, but yeah, that's not a very good spot for the Primer Spike. Definitely on this map. So, ideally, I could accumulate spikes from 99. Hopefully that Zoom G at the back doesn't die. And yeah, that stall was not very good. Not very good. This spike pile is really, really, really in shambles. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Sabo. Because I know, I got a feeling, we're gonna eat up a lot of spikes. I'm gonna add the extra tower. And then start the sacrifice, uh, starting on 100. So let me just Sabo immediately. Uh, and now it's good. We'll use Ball Light too. Take it slow here. Pause. Sorry? Uh, pause, pause. We gotta start the sacrificing now, so which do we want to get rid of first? Um... Pause again. Uh, get rid of Sabo, Sabo. Sacrifice. Pause again. Let's move the perma spikes. See ya. In the corner you go. We're gonna sacrifice these next. Stuff that doesn't do damage, so Alchemist. See, the ability is really short, the sacrificing ability. Discount Village. Uh, probably Heli goes next, Heli. See you later. Uh, village next? Yeah, probably village. How much does this perm spike pile uh, take away, though? I'm, I'm just curious. Not a whole lot, right? Oh, whoa, 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 Hey, I didn't do I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Uh, goodbye, biggest one. We don't need you. We can use this guy to stun. I didn't realize that spike pile was actually that beefy. Okay. Well then. I'll get rid of the alchemist. We don't need the, uh, let bomb power. We're gonna overclock for the last time, just to make sure. And this guy's gone. And then, yeah, May Mob is gonna stay for a bit. Until we pop it. We should just tank the ZMG, number one. Let me just ensure. We gotta use three abilities still. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. Do I wait for BFBs? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for BFBs, and then I'm gonna sacrifice the sniper. This should be fine, see ya? This was kinda fun. BFBs are fast, yeah, let's get rid of it now. Last bike. And, did we make it? Yes, we did. See ya, Ice. No towers left. Perma Spike will take this, right? One, two, three. Zero towers, chimps complete. Not as smooth as I thought it would be, because obviously the strategy was really whack, but hey, at least we had fun. Look at the map, it's empty. Start next round. Oh no. How are we going to beat this round with zero towers? I'm not sure, but either way, that is the end. GG.